we're just about to talk about salt. You remember we started the conversation a couple of weeks ago and we're coming back to that same topic. But do remember if you have any questions at all, any suggestions, any comments, the hashtag is Sunday Breakfast across all our social media networks. And if you have questions as well, do send them to our WhatsApp number, 0204-447-033. So today's topic is the finding the hidden salt in foods. I'm sure you didn't know some certain mm. foods had a hidden salt. But to help us with this discussion is Ifwa Deswa Nsia Nomanyo of Deswa Diet Consult and Medical Catering. Deswa, thank you so much for joining us again. Thank you. I love your outfit. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start. We, we spoke about salt the last time you were here. Um, so is salt good or bad? Salt is very good. Salt is a major component um, when we talk about the support of health. It's one of the regulators of our BP. Mm -hmm. So, of course, um, it is very good. It is needed at every point in time to support life. What makes it so talked about as bad is the quantity. Yes. Yes, I think the yeah. last time you told us how yes. much yes. is good. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. yes. Right. So it is the quantity, yeah. So when you get the quantities right, you realize that salt is very, very significant in our lives. Okay. In our health. Um, why do we need to reduce our salt intake in the so, first place? Yes. So when we're talking about the quantities, we are trying to make the necessary efforts to um, ensure we stick within the adequate requirements, especially um, the standards set by WHO, our instructors of health. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, the normal person is supposed to take about a teaspoon of, of salt in a day. And this salt is <laughs> supposed to be, this, this, um, this quantity should be from breakfast to your last meal. So, yes. <laughs> yes. I'm stuttering so at this point. Don't <laughs> so, if you don't consciously reduce it, then you are exposing yourself to high intake of salt, which will affect your BP. We should also be mindful that BP um, is one of the major risk factors. Salt is one of the major um, yeah contributors of BP and BP will affect your heart mm. and will also um, lead to stroke. So there are other um, secondary, f uh, 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 secondary f uh, factors of uh, BP, that is a high blood pressure. So for to be able to stay within the normal range, salt is major. Um, mm reducing our salt is very important. You should know that the leading causes of death in the world, the um, four first are all contributed to high blood pressure. Mm. So then reducing your salt intake very is very, important. very important. When you say hidden salt in foods, what kind of foods have salts that are hidden? <laughs> like, <laughs> okay. Talk to us about that. So before I go there, I, I must also throw light on the fact that it is not everybody who is supposed to reduce the salt intake. Okay. There are some people who are salt sensitive. So for, they, for those people, even if you are not a known BP patient, you are still supposed to stay within the minimum requirement, there are others too who are um, not salt sensitive, Okay. like I am. For such people, um, when you are even drinking water, you should put in a little salt because you, um, you don't respond easily to salt. So you might see that you're feeling weak, you're feeling dizzy, mm. you look um, very tired all the time. So those people and people who are very physically active, like mm. the sportsmen, yeah. they are also supposed to increase 
the assault intake because they lose a lot mm. through the sweats. Okay. And if the, the kind of work you do, even if you are um, salt sensitive and you do, if you are not salt sensitive and you do, you work in an environment that does not support sweat, mm -hmm. you are not supposed to take more because you will not be able to excrete the SSS. Okay. So that said, we want to talk about I'm hidden, coming to your yeah, question, question, the hidden salt. So when we are talking about salt, we all come close to salt, the added salt. Mm. But the added salt is about 20% of the intake. Wow. Okay. Most of them are hidden in the foods we take. So we have some pictures around. When you go to the, uh, the shop to um, buy mm -hmm. any grocery, from cereal to tomato paste, to fish, to frozen vegetables, to um, frozen meats, they are all preserved to be able to prolong the shelf life and also enhance the taste. Mm. Most of them are preserved in a way that you not even taste the salt. Let's come to our local markets. Our dry fish, yeah. our... Um, Kobe. Kobe is not even hidden. That it is one. Yeah, that one is prison. Yes, it's there. <laughs> it tells you that I'm there. I am there. You literally even see the yes. salt around the rice. Yes, I you, you. you see everything. So that one is gold. <laughs> but the hidden ones like Henry's. So yeah. when you buy Henry's, you taste salt. When you buy mud fish, there is salt. Yeah. Our tuna, even when they tell you this is salt free or dye, or that still has salt, right. okay? So when using these ones to prepare your meal, the other salt should be the very last. When you're going to buy palm oil, we want zoomy. <laughs> <laughs> so the zoomy, it's the salt factor right. that enhances the taste for us to enjoy what we have. A few months ago, fresh tomatoes was very Expensive. expensive so lots of people ran to the tomato paste and that was a heartbreak for me in particular <laughs> because apart from the starch and the sugars in the salt is also too much so most of the time when we are even having our breakfast the milo the 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 chocolates the milk the biscuit the bread have you considered salt in bread so before you even have your, before you start your day, you have taken so much during wow. the breakfast time already. So when you are going to fry your egg mm. and you are going to add a lot of salt to it, you are increasing it. So the hidden ones are those we don't consider as having salt. Those we don't even, um, pay attention to know how much they contain. Like you go, this is oats. You, you will barely think of Salt. checking the yeah. sodium content of oats. You wouldn't think of checking the sodium content of your, um, your sardine, your, your uh, sausages. Mm -hmm. Now you go to every home and pizza is becoming <laughs> a, a delicacy. <laughs> Let's let's analyze pizza very well. Mm -hmm. Oh Lord, I'm not <laughs> scared. <laughs> so there's so, bread. So there is bread in there. Mm -hmm. There is sausage. So I am using assorted meats. Mm -hmm. okay. There is sausage. There is shrimps. Mm -hmm. The frozen and we always use the frozen one. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the shrimps is of course preserved with so much salt mm -hmm. so that when it thaws it doesn't lose the. Um, it's fluid that gives it body. Yeah. Okay. So it has a lot of salt in there, but you don't taste. Okay. The the chicken, mm -hmm. whether chicken breast or what has yeah. salt in the there's cheese. The, there's cheese, and you know we use a lot of the cheese. Yeah. We even ask for extra. Extra, <laughs> and that is what gives us the taste. That is what. So before you take a slice. You want to go for more, you want to. So before you finish um, a pack, 
most people might share, mm. but even if you are sharing, you are taking four or five. Yeah. You are likely to take your the, your daily requirements in one in meal. One. Oh wow! Okay, and that is supposed to be a snack. So <laughs> after <laughs> after you have finished that, yeah, you want to think about a main meal like a. Uh, um, fried rice, mm -hmm. uh, or now there is also assorted meat fried rice. Yeah. The the um, the yam and pork mm -hmm. delicacy in the night. Good. Fried rice, for instance, the major components because it doesn't have any sauce. Mm -hmm. The major component is monosodium mm -hmm. salt. So. Um, the meat in the the sausages in the the um, the stock cubes will add and everything before you finish a meal. You should know that you have taken more than this, and that this is supposed to be your daily requirements. <laughs> and the hidden ones are in the sausages, mm -hmm. in the vegetables when you are using frozen vegetables. Frozen vegetables, somebody would just think because, it has no yes, but it has been preserved. Okay. Okay. Wow. So these ones are hidden and we do not see, so we don't even count them. So after assembling them, we will want to add more fiscal salts, and that is what we normally count. Uh, yeah. I'm looking at you's expression. Yeah, it's, I, 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 it's worrying for me because then it means that we are consuming a lot more salts than we have to. That is why um, hypertension has become very common. Stroke is becoming very common. So we are seeing the effects. And to every effect, you know, there is a yeah, cause. Yeah. So we are seeing the effects. We, we, we. Um, associated with the physical sort, mm -hmm. but we silently mm -hmm. talk about the hidden one, mm -hmm. which is 70%, 70 to 80% of our males. Wow. So, um, uh, and uh, then the, the, the point really is that I see a lot of people say, oh, have the hard gravel like ones, right? Mm -hmm. It's better. I see people also use the very fine, smooth ones. You go on to some of these supermarkets right now, you see all sorts of products, right? All sorts of spices. Some women tell you that it's a great alternative to salt. Um, so you use the spices, you're fine. You really have to use salt. Um, what then would be your, your advice or your recommendation amongst all the available ones we see on the market? Okay, so... Um, speaking about spices, our natural spices, mm. now there is so much harm our market women are doing to us. You go to the market to buy the already mixed spices mm. and you taste salt. Yeah. So much salt in there because they want to um, enhance the taste of the natural spice. Mm. So even choosing spice to replace salt or to enhance your meals, go for the very natural ones that you will have to mail, unless you really have a trusted salt, a salt that you can trust. Otherwise, our natural salt has been um, included in the spice. In the spice, it, that's contained so much salt mm. already. So when you have your vegetables, for instance, you have to wash them three times before consumption. So first water should be salty water, second water should be salty water, mm. but the third water should be plain water mm. to remove the salt you have used to um, wash, it. wash it because of the chemicals. So we should always end our vegetable wash with the plain water. When you are cooking, at home. Mm. Salt, added salt should be the last thing. So because you have added a lot of this stuff already, when you are tasting, don't taste for salt. Don't try to want to feel it. Feel it. Don't try to feel the taste on your tongue. 
otherwise you are going to add, add more. more salt to it. Ideally, looking at what we have, the content of salt in our foods already, we are not supposed to add salt because we have gotten them from the processed ones already. Sticking to the fresh ones are always ideal so that you can control your um, salt intake. Having your porridge, for instance, adding just a little salt, it's okay, no salt at all, it's okay if it is oats. If it is uh, corn porridge, of course, that uh, has not been preserved. If you did your own corn do. The market women, some of them who mail their corn do down, add a lot of salt to it. Even fufu, before they pound the cassava, they will add a lot, a lot of, of salt. salt to it, so that when they pound it in, it, in the morning, by evening it is still there, okay? So when you go and buy, um, when you are having it at home, you have to control it. That is why we always advise eating outside should be once in a while, once a while thing. When you have to eat every day, outside you are exposed to a lot of salt because they will think about taste first before health mm. okay and also when you go to the shop mm. to buy your groceries always check the nutrition fat level mm. no. check for those with lower sodium, sodium. take your time and examine every one of them before you bring them home. Some of them have very high sodium, others have little. You can have the um, same products by different brands, mm. but their sodium compositions or sodium contents are different, they vary. So looking for the lower ones are very ideal. So the key thing is you try and stay stick to the minimum salt intake mm. by looking for the hidden salt in all the products mm. you buy. Don't only think about the added salt. So we'll say, how do we enjoy our food without salt? So, <laughs> taste is acquired. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you made a point the other time too, like, yeah, that, yeah, but I mean. But I think mean, that's all so, we've known yeah, growing up, and, and that's I, all we've I, eaten. How do you enjoy food without? You know, the, our lifestyle has drastically changed. Mm. Years ago, we were very active. So if my grandmother was uh, using Kobe in every meal, my grandmother was going to walk to the farm, so she would sweat. So she would excrete the excess salt. Right. But we are not sweating, we are not exercising. We are not doing much. I drive to work and you have to make conscious efforts. Mm -hmm. So if I am buying my granites, <laughs> at, um, I, I'm buying my roasted granite, I, I don't really care if I am the fact that is into sports mm. or is very active physically. If I taste salt, it's okay. Our uh, granite paste. Oh, I love granite uh, paste. Do you, do you taste salt today? <laughs> so the bread has salt, salt. already, mm. and the spread has a lot. And all the spread have lots of um, salt. Yeah. But we would think that granite paste is okay. If you do it at home, then you should ensure that there is no salt in there. If you, you have a vendor who does it very well, mm -hmm. then you should also ensure that they are not adding, even if they are adding, in order to preserve the shelf life, just a little so that you don't taste in there. So we can enjoy our food when we consciously want to stick to the fact that we don't want to taste so much. So consciously, I am unable to take salts, okay? Though I am not sensitive to salt. Right. So I have to consciously add. So I am the type that should mm. taste salt. Mm. Mm -hmm. But because of the work I do, my, my, I have trained myself not to, and I enjoy food. So if we all do same, <laughs> we should be able to enjoy our food and enjoy the quality of life. Sausages, wow. sausages and mm. those stuff, 
and mm -hmm. are not good for us. They are killing us, salt. The salt in there. Wow. The, the, I, the see people, I see people eat their banku or kinky with um, the fish that they roast. I've forgotten the guy name. The, 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 uh, but yeah, they roast the fish. They lo it looks very spicy. Then it's like... Is it the, is it the shitolo? Shitolo. Oh, Charlie. <laughs> shitolo. So like, yeah, they, they roast it. And when it's served, there's some sort of salt around it. They, even before it goes on the fire, yeah. you, you, you no. have to soak it <laughs> They marinate it with salt. Yes. Mm. And okay, the, there we have it on our screen, the, 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 the shetolo. So like, yes. this is an uncooked one, I believe. But like, when it's roasted like that, yes. when it's served, yes. they sprinkle but I mean, and you can't deny that. <laughs> yeah. So, so, but so but, but when, when you're going for that, think mm. about your kidneys, think about your blood pressure. <laughs> yeah, well, you put it like that then. I mean, two weeks ago, I was giving the example of my friends who enjoy their contemporary with the Kobe. And yeah. there's not one Kobe I'm talking about. Like, I didn't even know Kobe's could be as big like that, right? Yeah. But it's nice. Yes, it's, 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 it's nice, but look at your lifestyle. So salt intake, like any other meal, mm. is individualized. Mm. So if you come to me and I'm eating salt and my lifestyle supports mm. that, mm. and you look at your lifestyle <laughs> and you cannot, mm. and even your health conditions, Mm. You, you are not supposed to eat because others are eating. You have to consider mm. your uniqueness and eat. And generally, um, adequate in, whether you are a salt sensitive or a salt non sensitive, mm. the adequate intake is between four to six grams. Okay. So even the lower is four, the highest you can go shouldn't be more than six, even if you are I salt. I mean, just briefly, back to our, my question I early asked, I early asked on, I mean, I, we still went into more of the spices. Yeah. Between the coarse ones, right, and the very, very fine, fine, smooth ones, what would you advise we use for our food? Okay, so the coarse one, this one, mm. has some unique flavor that the smooth one doesn't have, mm. okay. But they are all the same. These ones are also iodized. Okay. So they are all the same. So mm -hmm. you, you, you can't add the cost with um, an almost cooked food. Mm. So mm. we start with this, and when you have to correct, mm. you use a shaker mm. to correct oh. at the end. So let, me, I, let me ask a follow up to mm. that. You know, aside the rock and the fine one, there are other ones that you pink salt. Himalayan salt, are there added things to that or is that just, you know, marketing okay. skills? Okay, there are others who add other minerals to salt mm. because salt is regular in it, everything. Mm. But the pink salt, I haven't come across. Okay. It. okay. Mm. But I know that if you want to add um, like iodine because uh, um, we were lacking, so it became a standard that we should go for the iodized salt so that every day you can get something small no. from it. Yeah. So but if you are the other type of salt, yeah. <laughs> if you're a Kobe lover, if you're a stick lover, if you are a shutolo lover, if you are a kebab, we Ke yeah? I thought kebab was pepe. Oh, the ah, um... salt. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was just red pepper, salt. which is nice. Salt. <laughs> it's salt. salt. Is, it, is the salt on the meat or in the pepper? On the meat. And even in the pepper or with the pepper? It, even the pepper, you have to add a little salt to enhance the taste. Oh. Wow. <laughs> the, so I think I remember someone saying that if you hold your skin and okay. i don't know if it stays okay. it means you don't have enough water or enough okay. salt something like that yeah okay so dehydration is somewhat connected to salt salt okay so i will mostly check <laughs> and i'll use myself as an example okay i easily get dehydrated when you look at my face you'll see yeah that today i need salt okay so a health um practitioner or even we can all test for that mm -hmm. so when you are very dehydrated we, they will, we will increase your electrolytes 
So even when you buy coconut water, you might put just a little in there to help you get tasty. Mm. It, because it improves the taste mm. so that you can um, go for more water. bottles of water. Okay. Wow. So, and you know, um, salt is also related to um, fluid balance in the body. Good. So, when we are fighting dehydration, like I do most of the time, <laughs> we always add salt to the water we drink. Was that what I was supposed to? Yeah, I mean, because <laughs> now I'm reanalyzing my life choices, so I have to drink a little water. You, 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 Stay hydrated. You have to consciously, mm -hmm. consciously. Mm -hmm. when, when you abandon it, you know, our choices affect mm -hmm. our life, and everybody can see. When <laughs> wow. um, and I, we'll, we'll have to go back. Some messages are coming and um, we we'll do the show for our viewers, so we have to just try and address them briefly. Says, so are there any other substitutes for salt, just like we have for sugar? So the substitutes for salt are mm. um, hidden in potassium. And so I will not be quick to say yes, mm. because those ones have high potassium. If mm. I have a renal patient who want to go for a salt substitute, the substitute will rather do him more harm. Wow. Okay, because yeah. of the potassium mm, in sorry. that substitute, okay. So I will go for the natural spices as mm. enhancers, okay. There are other, um, all the other substitutes have very high potassium in there. If you are only BP, mm then that's okay because it will also, it will even support your blood pressure. But you know, the, um, the path is that from BP, you can, um, there is a link between that to your kidneys. So going for the suppressors or the substitutes, yeah, even the sugar one, mm. there are now research that they are not so healthy. Wow. Okay. Tell so me, don't tell me about brown sugar is fat, because I've known all my life that brown sugar is the good. Brown sugar is it's not the just good. as unhealthy <laughs> as the Goodness. white sugar. The Let's difference busted. <laughs> the, the difference is not significant, but we'll talk about sugar in our next discussion. Yeah, discussion. Wow. So grateful for your time, Anna. Mm. <laughs> I know. Yeah. You don't know what to say. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. I, I, I like think. I think we need to reevaluate our, our, our choices. Yeah, our, our food choices. Like there should be a national level discussion on. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, national level discussion. Yeah, because like oh, yes. a lot of the things, a lot of the change, a lot of the things, a lot of the change we, we need to see yeah. happen in this country can only happen if there's a deliberate national consciousness, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So. That's true. Yeah, I, I think it's about time. But Anna, so grateful for your time. So thank you, thank you. I thank wanted you. to eat cool view. I wanted to, it, it makes so, sense. so you can Chant. eat, but just a little. Just a little. And you are not supposed to add salt because you've gotten the salt from it. So I, there I, should yeah. be no added salt. Mm -hmm. Anna, thank you just so combined. much.